we've come out for a little look see to one of our favourite places. Again, the water's a little bit too high. Nearly there. Hopefully another couple of weeks. I mean, it's, there's places we can go in, but it's still a bit too high to it look at look it, but properly. It's yeah, it's, it it's a lot deeper. But there's been some activity. activity and also I think a tree's come down exposing some of the bank. And just Dave found, look at that, little bubble. I think that, no, it wouldn't be a nail varnish, would it? Yeah, probably actually. A little vintage nail bottle, nail varnish bottle. And it's so pretty. And of course we can see just down there some apothecary bottles and the obligatory shippums. So we're gonna have a little look around here just for a mini little adventure and see what we can find. And look at that, little cheeky chops. Doll's face, nose and lips. We know people love these. Oh, I'd like to find a whole one one day. I spy with my little eye something beginning with P. I think. Paint pan. Whoopee. Some bottle diggers left their little trowel behind. And also a nice bottle that says Lipton's. That's a nice one. I think I might, might take that back. <laughs> this little thing just popped out. I love it when we find little toys. So much better than bottles. There we go. Just having a scrape and I can see this. Look, it's got a metal lid. Don't think there's any embossing on. That's a nice one. I'll take that back and clean it up. And what could have been in there? What do you think, Dave? What do you think would have been in there? Perfume or? No, the lid's coming off. Huh. I don't know. It's faceted, isn't it? Yeah. It's pretty nice. Oof. Careful, that's going to go. I'll just move. Okay. I've just found. A little button and it looks like it's got a pattern on it. There we go. All about the small finds for me. Lovely. Look, just uncovered a Nivea cream tin. Wouldn't get very much in there, would you? <laughs> I'm not going to take it home. I found an ink bottle with its ink still in it, look. <laughs> Got plenty of ink, so. And a tiny little bottle. Still got the label on, a partial. I think it's like a Cinzano or something. Or a Pirano. Just a little miniature. So nice. That uh, looks like it's got written on. Oh. Paraffin Gauze Dressing, BPC. Oh. Guessing that's a dressing tin. Take it home, I suppose, clean it up. See what it is. Oh. Have a scrape around here. I don't know if Open it in uh, CWS written around the bottom. So, Cooperative Wholesale Society. Vulcanite Tot. Oh.
Try to spit here. Oh. Oh, it's got, oh, it's got some really nice embossing on it. It's quite a nice shape too. Yeah, I quite like that. It's a really nice embossing. I think that would make a good tea light holder. That's got to come home. During our mini adventure, Dave dug this lovely bottle. This bottle is a C.E. Beavis of Bristol and Charles Edward Beavis was born in St. Augustine, Bristol in the first quarter of 1848. By August 1887, Charles was an established mineral water manufacturer. Charles was a director of the National Union of Mineral Water Manufacturers and was for many years an executive of Bristol and West of England mineral water manufacturers. Charles Edward Beavis passed away on the 28th of November 1930. This little bottle was in fact a vintage nail varnish bottle complete with its brush inside. However, the brand is unknown. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel.